Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with me today. Today I'd like to address the question of fletch adhesives, whether it be for the fletchings themselves, the inserts, or knock bushings, or knocks themselves. We'll start at the back end of the arrow and work our way to the front. Unless your arrow has a knock bushing, something like this Easton Triumph, which is a basically a adapter that necks down the inside diameter of the shaft to allow it to accept a normal size knock, like this boning S-knock here. Unless it has something like this, you don't need to glue your knocks in place unless you you have a cap knock or a particular type of knock for like a bamboo arrow. In modern day carbon and aluminum arrows, the knocks are meant to be able to twist and be able to be moved around to orient the fletchings for whatever type of rest you're using. However, for the bushing itself, if it's not already installed or if it pops out and need to re-glue it back in, you can use any type of cyanoacrylate that you want or basically any kind of crazy glue or super glue that you want. It's not under a whole bunch of stress, unlike the point. Uh, it gets pushed on more than it gets pulled on. And so you can use a hot melt, you can use a super glue type of thing, you can use a two-part epoxy, it really doesn't matter. However, of course, with whatever glue you use, going from hot melt to epoxy means it's gonna be in there and probably removable to in there and you're probably never going to get it out. So when it comes to the fletch adhesive, it gets a little more heated and a little more debated, but I prefer a uh, slow set gel, nothing fast set. I like a slow set epoxy like gel. It glues kind of rubbery, almost like a rubber cement, allows that fletching to have more give. Sure, it takes 48 hours for it to fully cure, whereas some people are using uh, glues that'll uh, set up in just a matter of seconds or minutes. So it's kind of a matter of trial and error. See what you like, see what's going to stick to your arrow, try uh, fletching to the bare aluminum or to the bare carbon, try wrap, try different styles of wrap, see what works for you and see what kind of glue you like. Now for the business end of the arrow, whether it's a glue in point like this Easton Triumph point or it's an RPS insert, you have several different options. You can use hot melt, hot melt glue, temperature stick, you want to use a low to medium temp if you just want to go to your local craft store and use that. I just melt it with a candle, smear it onto the point, heat it over the candle real quick, shove it into the uh, end of the uh, arrow and it works just fine. The only issue with hot metal is you have to be careful when you're applying the heat. You only heat up the insert of the point. You do not apply any heat directly to the carbon. You can get away with an aluminum arrow because while well, it's metal it'll take the heat just fine but you can't uh, directly heat a carbon arrow with a torch or with a candle or a lighter as it could potentially damage the carbon fibers and make the arrow unsafe to shoot. You can also use some sort of cyanoacrylate, some sort of super glue, crazy glue. There's a lot of different options on the market. Heck you can just Google it and find 50 different opinions in 50 seconds. It's not that big of a deal. As long as you find something that keeps the insert of the point in, doesn't pull out, really doesn't matter what you use. Um, if I'm not using hot melt personally, I will use, and this is just Brampton, but any sort of long cure 2020 golf shaft epoxy. If it's good enough to keep a golf head into a golf shaft and deal with all that torque and all that energy of a guy driving a golf ball a couple hundred miles an hour, it's going to be able to take care of an arrow. Again, this is a 48 hour cure long cure, but it's meant to withstand that high force, that high impact of a golf head and a golf shaft twisting and torquing while it hits a golf ball. And if it can handle that, it can probably handle a 400 grain carbon arrow. So I really like this stuff. I picked this up for, I think, 10 bucks. And as you can see, I think I've done three or four dozen arrows with it and I'm not even a tenth of the way through it so um, that's a really good pickup and if you keep it in the refrigerator or in a cold climate like my basement here it'll last you for years. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about putting arrows back together, maybe you broke them, maybe they weren't put right in the first place, follow the links in the description below. Hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on my Gmail, or leave a comment here on YouTube. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, enjoy the sport of archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation and we'll get to see you next time.